Hello, today is Saturday, May 8th, 2021. Welcome to my raptor watching video. And oh no, the focus is bad. Oh, I thought I could get it on there, but there is actually an osprey. There is actually an osprey in that nest. You just can't see her, but she is there. She did poke her head out of that nest. Yeah, there we go, there we go. See, look. There we go. So she is there, okay? And then, if I go over here, you can see another nest. And I know you can't see, I know you can't see the osprey, but they are there. I did see one of them poking the head out. And then I go over to this nest and there's both osprey. Yes, yeah, so there's three nests. Here's nest number three. And here is nest number, oh, sorry about that. It's actually this one. And there is nest number one, right there. And then over here is nest number two. So yes, so all three osprey nests are visible right from this location right here. That's number two. That's number one. And then that's number three. So I'm going to go film nest number three because the osprey are more visible in that nest than the other two nests. This osprey must see my camera stuff. Like he must, or she must see my camera stuff. But she flew over to that light pole right as I was walking on the sidewalk. Like I wasn't even here yet. That's the female. I know it is. Maybe I could drop off a fish at this osprey's nest. What do you think? Maybe I could try it. Maybe this is my opportunity. Okay, so I'm going to set up shop right here. Okay, so let's roll them. Okay. We are back. Okay, so now I'm zooming in on these osprey right here. Okay. Yep, so there they are. We're, there's the two of them. There's the both of them right there. Okay. And give me a second here while I zoom this up a little bit. Got to tilt. Tilt. Come on, tilt, man, tilt. Right here, okay. So I can zoom in further. Okay, I can zoom in and you know, it's just weird how they both decide to preen away from the nest. But everything's good. Everything's good, the osprey are still here. Okay, and I can do everything that I have to do now. I think these osprey gave me an opportunity. Okay. All right, so I had problems here because one of the propellers was uh, detaching from my drone. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Okay, good. All right. Uh, let's see. It's just having some difficulty here. There we go. Okay. And, oh, there's something I want to tell you. So I want to talk about skill stock. Right now, it's like $16, $17. You know, it's, it fell a little bit after the Corollarians report, which is kind of a big surprise for me. I thought for sure that would attract people to buy the stock, but it didn't. People end up selling the stock the day of earnings, which is very surprising, and then end up going down a little bit further after earnings. And it hasn't really done much since then. So I'm still holding on to it. All 1,200 and something of my shares. And I'll try to sell 300 shares at like 1950 a share maybe I could go as low as 19 to even out my average and then when it goes down then I'll buy those 300 shares at a lower price just like I did last time I could have gotten in at a lo little bit of a lower price when I bought those 300 shares because I did that once before but anyways I, I can get through this whole situation I just need to relax and everything will be just fine and also, I'm going to be starting day shifts at Amazon starting tomorrow. So I'm going to be waking up early instead of staying up late. And then I'll get to do my hawk watching earlier in the day. And I actually went hiking over at Egan's, or sorry, Fort Clinch State Park. But I didn't see anything. So it was kind of a waste of a trip, but at least I got my exercise. That's the most important thing. 
So now I'm here and I'm going to go and start using my drone to get closer to this osprey nest right here. All right, so without any further ado, let me begin. And I'm going to try to film the second osprey. I believe it was the second osprey that flew first, as far as I know. Either the male or the female, I don't know which one, but I'm just going to film them. That's as far as I can zoom in, that's it. Um, looks to be the female, I don't know, male, female, I can't really tell from this angle, but it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck here, this is, this is where I'm going to film them, I'm not going to change my mind. Okay. All right, so as far as my drone goes, I have to read this very long-ass manual that basically tells me all about how to use it. It's like a hundred pages long, probably, I'm sure. But I did save it somewhere in my files. Ah, uh, here it is. It's 12 megabytes, this file right here. And basically tells me about how to... How to control the things, the key features, the gimbal clamp. I don't really need to worry about all that stuff. Propellers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I don't know. P mode positioning. It's got all this GPS stuff. All this GPS crap I gotta read. Yeah, so. <laughs> Let me point this just a little bit more this way. Maybe the clarity will be a little bit better. There we go. So this is with full optical zoom, by the way. It gives you an idea how powerful this camera is. I don't really have to get close to these Osprey if I don't want to. I don't have to. It's not necessary. Um... Linking the remote controller. Ah, yes, this is important. Pressing the link button. The link button. Oh well, yeah, because I gotta plug. I gotta put a USB drive in the USB stick from the phone into the drone. Makes sense. And I do need to put bug spray on me because mosquitoes are getting bad. Everywhere. Everywhere. Oops, sorry about that. Did I mess up on the thing here? Oh. There we go. Okay, now I'm bug sprayified. Okay, great. Alright, now for the USB thing. Just gotta find it here. It should be somewhere. Somewhere around here. Huh. Found it. Okay, okie dokie, okay. Oh, 
Uh, my thing's starting to mess up. Mm. What's going on? Why is this thing not... Okay, hang on a second. And that's the female for sure. Let's see, which one should I film? Maybe I should film this one, actually. I changed my mind. Oh, I see a crow coming. Hey, don't be bothering those osprey crow. Good. Okay, so there is one of the osprey. It's just that the focus is just kind of not so great. So maybe I need to film the other one. Good. Right there. Okay. Great. Okay, so now I'm going to get my, my, I don't know why I can't seem to, there we go, okay. Is this meant for an iPhone? I hope so. I think it's in, I think it is, okay. And then the other piece goes, oh yeah, in the remote. Can't seem to find the remote. Why? Oh wait, found it. Uh, why won't it go in? The but it won't go in. Mm, something's wrong. Something's horribly wrong. should go in, but it's not. I'm not going to force it in. Yeah, I'm not going to force it in. Not going to happen. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> uh, yeah, so here's basically what happened. Um, I'm using the wrong length or the wrong type of adapter, so I guess I'll have to buy a different one on Amazon. Well, that sucks because this was expensive. This was like $5. I mean, this is an expensive piece of equipment. I'm cheap. What can I say? Uh, yeah, not going in. Maybe it's just not the right type of remote. Like, I know this is a DJI Phantom 3 remote. I know it is. Maybe it'll work without it. Maybe there's a way I can get it to work without it. I, I don't know. Like, I read on here that I do need to connect the phone to the remote in order to get it work, but I don't know why it won't work wirelessly. Like, why... Why do I need to connect it into the remote? Like, is that really necessary? Let's see, and relinking is only necessary to place the new one. Press the link button. The link button. Yeah, the link button. If 
sein, wo We'll go with that, it's fine. Um, yeah, don't mind me, I'm just reading the instructions here. Um, the remote controller, the, the cable is just used for charging the remote. I don't actually have to link it. That's good. That's good news, okay. Or at least I don't think so, anyways. The remote controller is replaced with a new one, okay. Um, how to do this. Hmm. I guess the female was the one that flew off first. I'm not sure why she... Decided. Well, actually, that makes sense, because she was the one that flew off last time. Okay, so it looks like it's on, and then... And then I just need to open this up. Hmm, where 
is the Wi-Fi signal. Should be link. It should be a link button. A link button. Oh, you know what? There is actually a. There should be a link button. Where is the link button? I don't know where the link button is. Hmm. Well, I guess because the camera is not connected. Um, so, let's see. So, what does this mean? Okay, um, how to connect. Probably because I don't have internet. That's probably why I can't use it. Okay. gonna work. I think I probably need the camera to be attached to it. I don't think this will work without the camera. Because it has to be connected wirelessly in order for it to recognize the aircraft. And it actually has three connections. Or sorry, yeah, because I know you can't see it from here. I'm just not using my phone to record because I'm lazy. But yeah, there's a connector for... The DJI, there's two connectors for whatever, for the internet, I guess, some, or for the connection, the Wi-Fi thing or whatever. It's some sort of an antenna, I guess. Anyways, that's not quite working out. Oh, man, so that means I'm back to the drawing board again. Hmm. What sucks? I go up. Oh, probably because I didn't have the remote connected. Nope. Nope, it's not on there. Nope. There's 
nothing. There must be a way to do it manually. It's not possible. I've already I've concluded it's not possible without the camera. I gotta tap camera view on the DJI Go app. If you're tapping camera view, that means you have to see out of the camera in order to calibrate it. It's not possible without the camera. That camera is expensive. Like that camera is like a hundred dollars. I'm not willing to pay a hundred dollars for a camera. When I got like a cheap brand, like a cheap name brand of the GoPro for like $20, not going to do it. But these connectors only connect into the DJI Phantom 3 camera. That's what happens when I'm cheap. You have to get the exact brand for it. But I don't want to get the exact brand. I just want to use the cheap name brand stuff. But that doesn't always work with every situation. Hmm. There's got to be a calibrate button like on this thing. Like there has to be. Like I could just tilt, I could just turn it. I should just be able to turn it like this 360 degrees. Then I tilt this 360 degrees and then it should work. Then the stupid drone should work. Oh, they flew. I don't know what's up with that female. She's a very strange female. Well, at least I got Fearless Tom right here. I can always count on him. Up oh, here, here she comes. She's flying. Sorry about this camera. This camera just doesn't have... Hey there, Osprey. Hey! Hey there! Oh yeah, there we go. Uh. Okay, so yeah, there is the Osprey. I mean, I'm not gonna stay here for very long because I gotta go better. I gotta go bed early tonight. Yeah, it's as far as I can zoom in. Okay, so I'm in the process of trying to figure out this drone and when these Osprey already flew off on me. But luckily, she flew off almost over me. So that's a good thing. That's a good sign. Uh, so yeah, about the calibration. So I'm still, I don't know why I to use this thing. But I am still trying to figure it out. There must be like a calibrate button on here or something. I, don't know. I used to be able to like tilt it diagonally like this. Yeah, it's not as easy to like tilting the controls. You can't just tilt the controls left. Where did that osprey go? Why do you leave me? Uh I'm just trying to get my drone to work. Was it because of me? Was it because of this stupid drone? They, they're, they're just strange Osprey. Well, at least Fearless Tom stayed here for a little bit longer than the female did. So at least that's progress. That's all the footage I have for today. See you next Thursday. Take care, everybody.